Joel. <laughs> What's with the clothes? Are you in the military? No, I'm just dressed up like a colonel. A colonel? Hmm. I suppose you're going to talk about corn then? You got it. I'm the new authority on colonels. So let's get started. Do you know what this is? Uh, popcorn. That was easy. Right. And uh, what about this one here? White kernels. That must be white corn? Right again. White corn is used to make cornmeal, corn chips, and corn snacks. Most of the white corn is grown in the southern part of the United States. How about these ears? Uh, colored corn. I see those used around Thanksgiving. Right again. This is decorative corn that produces big ears, and little tiny ones too. How about this one? That's sweet corn, a great tasting vegetable. Did you know that Minnesota is the country's leading producer of sweet corn? In most years, we grow almost a million tons. That would be about 40,000 huge truckloads. Sweet. There's no way we can eat all that in Minnesota, right? For sure. It goes all over the country in cans, bags, or frozen ears. What about your other sample? Well, Suyin, this is called yellow corn. Minnesota grows this crop on more than 7 million acres. We're number four in the country in corn acres, and there's more than 70 million acres grown in the United States. That's a lot of acres. We don't eat this kind of corn, do we? Actually, we do eat yellow corn, but it has to be processed first. Here's what happens. Corn is either dry milled or wet milled in a processing plant. The first product we get is starch. Food grade starch is used for baking and cooking. Industrial grade starch is used for adhesives, to make paper, in textile weaving, and many other things. Starch can also be converted to sweeteners. One of those is conventional corn syrup, called dextrose. Dextrose is used to sweeten hundreds of food products. Dextrose is further refined into high fructose syrup, which is used to sweeten soft drinks, ice cream, and other foods. Corn sweeteners are further refined into ethanol, which is mixed with gasoline. That makes it a popular renewable resource that's grown on our farms. Corn also has oil, which is used for cooking in mayonnaise and salad dressings. The leftover protein and hulls from the milling process are called meal, and those go into feed for livestock. Joel, I'm impressed with your knowledge. In fact, I salute you. But more important, I salute all of the farmers who grow corn and the companies who make it into things we use every day. In this country, corn isn't just a kernel. Corn is king. We're a democracy, Joel. But I get your point.